everybody, I thought I would show you a game that you can play inside. Our weather today is a bit cold and miserable and maybe you don't have a garden, so maybe you can do one of these activities that I'm going to show you today. Remember, because it is inside, I think you need to ask a grown-up if you can clear a space in maybe your lounge or your bedroom, just so that we can all stay safe. Right, so the first game I'm going to show you is how to play some balloon tennis. Right, so you definitely then need a balloon. And what does balloon begin with? the but and that's the letter we are going to be focusing on this week. So but for balloon, you need a balloon, you need a ruler and a paper plate as well as some tape. Now this is to make your bat. Now you might say that oh, teacher Colleen I've got a tennis racket or I've got a bat already but because we're playing inside I think we need to make something that's a little bit safer to use inside. If you can use your tennis racket maybe outside when it's a nice day but we are making this. If you have a look, I've used a ruler for the handle and some tape, and then the paper plate is the part that you're going to hit with, right? Then, every tennis court needs a tennis net, so we have used a blanket and some chairs to make our net, but maybe you've got some string, you've got shorter chairs, and you could even play tennis while sitting as well and try and get the balloon over the net while sitting. You can stand and use something like this, anything that you've got at home to make a net. Of course, you don't even need a net. See if you can try and hit the balloon to each other without it touching the floor. So I'm going to quickly get my volunteers, Emma and Jason. They're going to have a quick round of balloon tennis. There we go. There we go. All right. Show off your skills, guys. Some forehands and backhands. Oh. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> well done. Good job. Okay. So, thanks, guys. I'm going to now. Thank you. Right, I can give you another idea for an inside game using a balloon, and that's going to be soccer. Now, I know soccer you use your feet to kick, but with this soccer, because it's inside soccer, it's going to be knee soccer. So you need to play soccer on a nice carpet only on your knees. So running on your knees and trying to kick the balloon with your knees. You can set up a goal on each side, or just have one side for a goal, and see if you can score a goal using your knees to kick the balloon and to run on your knees on the carpet. Okay, that's one of the games. The last game I'm going to show you is a balloon worm game. Right, so we need some extra helpers. I'm going to choose Jason right now. I'll use this one, Jason, that's fine. It's fine, leave it. I'm going to show my first the balloon. All right, so you need a balloon. I've got Jason, he's going to be the head of my worm, right? And I'm going to have Emma who's going to follow behind. So it's kind of following the leader with a little bit more skill using balloons. Right, so we're going to need one balloon. We're going to stick it here and Emma's going to come squish it between Jason and herself. Right, now the game is not to use your hands to keep the balloon there. And you can make your worm really long. And you can put in another balloon and another person and another balloon and another person. You can get your whole family to join. And you can see if you can work, walk staying in your worm. Now, if you want to make it really challenging, you can make an obstacle course inside. You can see if you can go up your stairs with the balloons. And then, if you've got a space in your garden, set it up an obstacle course there as well and give it a go. We're going to quickly have a short obstacle between these chairs, so let's move the, the blanket out the way. And let's see if you guys can show everybody how you guys stick together like brother and sister. Right, off you go. No hands, eh, Emma? <laughs> no hands, no hands! Keep going! Well done, guys. Okay, good job. All right, everybody, I hope you enjoyed those games. Remember, ask a parent or a grown-up just if you can clear out some space and um, have fun. All right.